Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This video will demonstrate how you can now create a profile cut pattern for floor and wall milling operations that cuts continuously by ramping in a helical manner to a specified depth. Walls may be vertical or tapered. If the walls are tapered, the smallest opening determines the size of the helix. We'll begin by examining a floor and wall milling operation that uses a profile cut pattern. Double click Floor Wall IPW to edit the operation. The Cut Depths option is new. This option is available only when profile has been selected as the cut pattern. Prior to this enhancement, cut depths were defined only by levels. Two additional options, Ramp by Depth and Ramp by Angle, are now available. First, we'll define the cut depths by level. Then we'll see how we can improve the toolpath by ramping. Select Levels from the Cut Depths list. Type 5 in the Depth Per Cut box. Click Generate. Notice how many engages are required when cut depths are defined by levels. Now we'll see how we can improve the toolpath by ramping to each cut depth. Select Ramp by Depth from the Cut Depths list. The depth per cut value specifies the cut depth measured along the tool axis for each completed helical profile pass. Click Cutting Parameters. The Profile Ramping section of the dialog box is new. If Add Cleanup Pass is checked, the floor material is removed completely. If it is unchecked, floor material is left behind where the maximum thickness is the specified depth per cut. Notice that the Add Cleanup Pass checkbox is currently checked. Click OK. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Play. Notice that the walls are profiled in one continuous helical cutting motion leaving a core in the middle and that all material at the floor level has been removed. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. Floor material is left behind when Add Cleanup Pass is unchecked and no Z-Depth offset is defined. This is sometimes desirable if you wish to tap out the core. Click Cutting Parameters. Clear the Add Cleanup Pass checkbox. Click OK. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Play. The remaining floor material has a maximum thickness of the specified depth per cut, that is, 5 mm. In cases where the remaining material is too thick to tap out the core, you can reduce the thickness by specifying a Z-depth offset. This option offsets a planar cut level from the thickest part of the remaining material, in this case, from the top of the 5 mm remaining floor material. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. Type 4 in the Z-Depth Offset box. This will leave a floor material thickness of 1 mm to support the core. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Play. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. You can also ramp to each cut depth by specifying an angle. Select Ramp by Angle from the Cut Depths list. Type 5 in the Ramp Angle box. This value specifies the angle between a line normal to the tool axis and the profile pass. Type 0 
in the Z depth offset box. Click cutting parameters. Select the add cleanup pass checkbox. Click OK. Click generate. Click verify. Click play. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. You may specify top offset to extend the cutting move above the blank geometry. Click cutting parameters. Type 2.5 in the top offset box. Click OK. Click generate. In this case, the blank geometry is the same height as the part. If you extend the blank geometry above the part, you can see how the top offset is measured from the blank. Lastly, we'll see how we can machine away the core using additional passes and step over. Click cutting parameters. Type 0 in the top offset box. Click OK. Type 2 in the ramp angle box. Notice that the step over is set to constant and the maximum distance is set to 50% of the tool diameter. Type 3 in the additional passes box. Click generate. Click verify. Click play. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. Click OK to complete the operation. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now create a profile cut pattern for floor and wall milling operations that cuts continuously by ramping in a helical manner to a specified depth. Thank you.